Hey, what's up guys? Uh, ever since I've been uploading these paintball videos this week, I've been getting a ton of questions about my setup, uh, what I use to go paintballing, and uh, the gun that I use, the clothes that I wear, everything like that. And I decided to make this video so that way, hopefully, I don't have to answer 10,000 more questions about it. But <laughs> if you guys ever have any questions, just let me know. Send me a PM on YouTube or Twitter or Facebook, whatever. And uh, I'll try to see if I can get back to you guys. But uh, I'm going to be showing you guys my setup and have it spread out all over the place and if you guys have never seen my setup before like my um my my gaming setup that is not the paintball setup but if you guys have never seen my gaming setup don't worry about all those wires trust me it's safe i'm not gonna blow up one night but this is my gaming setup I'm watching law and order svu right now and uh, i have like posters and stuff on the wall and everything like that ps3 xbox and it's really dark on this side of the room and the reason being is because there's no light over there I don't want my room to have a ton of light, and the reason being is because that just gets annoying, but <laughs> it would work well for a video like this, but that's why my room looks like that. But anyways, uh, a disclaimer before I start, uh, I am not some sort of pro paintballer, you know, I don't want to be a pro paintballer or anything like that, and I don't play speedball. A lot of people, when they hear paintball, they think, oh, it's that thing with the inflatable stuff on the field and everybody runs around like they're playing football. No, I don't play that. I play what's called woods ball. And yes, that, that sounds like a, some sort of porno, but um, woods, what woods ball basically is, is basically paintball in the woods. And the fields that I go to is called Skirmish USA. And I had a map somewhere around here of Skirmish USA, and it, I can't find it. But Skirmish USA is over 700 acres and has over 50 paintball fields. But let's move on. This is my marker, or paintball gun, and it is the Titman Project Salvo. And it weighs about six to seven pounds with everything that I have on it. And the reason why I chose it is because it's durable, it's badass looking, and it's reliable. Uh, the first time I went paintballing at Skirmish USA, I played in a field called Hemlock. And this field has a creek that goes right through it. A literal creek. Like if you jump in this creek, you'll probably have water up to your knees. And I ended up dropping my paintball marker in it. And I thought that when I pulled the paintball marker back up, it wouldn't fire. But it did. And it did so well. And uh, I was shocked at that. And um, the last time I went paintballing was at that event with over a thousand players. And there was paint everywhere. Like there was paint even in the bolt right here. And sometimes that would like stop your, your marker from firing. But mine's kept going no matter what. And uh, that's the reliability and the durability of the Tipman Project Salvo. And of course... The badass looking of it, uh, I believe it's modeled after the HK416. Uh, it seems to be modeled just like it, but if it isn't and it's modeled after something else, I apologize for the mistake, but the badass look of it is always nice to have as well. And the sight that you see there is not an EOTech. Some people think that that was an EOTech. It's not. I'm not going to spend $500 on a sight for my gun for paintballing. And does it work? Yeah, of course it does. If I press this button right here pop it up you can see that it does work you see this the sight right there and uh, at medium to long range it's practically useless but at close range scenarios let me just make sure it's off at close range scenarios uh, it does work it wonders you know it's always good to be able to acquire targets really fast uh, this right here is a foregrip and although most of the time I grab it from here this is also I use it kind of like a bipod I'll rest it on some sort of uh, uh, like le ledge or something and it will work as like a bipod and sometimes I'll grab it from there as well. And this that you see on the front is a GoPro mount. Although now I mount my GoPro on my helmet, sometimes I'll want to get an angle from this position. So I'll be able to take off the GoPro from the helmet and place it on here. And it, I don't know, it just looks cool there too. A lot of people also ask me about the magazine, like what it does. It's not a, a, like a functioning magazine. Basically what it is, I'm trying to do this with one hand. You know, us guys in life, sometimes we got to do things with one hand and it could be difficult. <laughs> uh, that is one for the books right there. But this is basically like a little toolbox. You open it up and you can keep Allen wrenches in it or you can keep the lubricant, um, which I don't do, but I think it goes either here or here or somewhere. But you could keep that stuff in there, and just in case you have issues with your marker, you could open it up at the uh, picnic area or anything like that and just check what's wrong with it. Uh, even though at Skirmish USA, 
it's awesome because they have gun techs right there. And I'm not saying this because I'm getting paid to say it. The, the, I don't even think they know I do videos, but I'm saying this because I love Skirmish USA. If I could fucking live on that field, I would. But <laughs> they have gun techs there for free. They'll check out your, your marker and uh, fix any issues with it. The only thing that you have to pay for is any replacement parts. But that's my marker, the Tipman Project Salvo. And now we're going to move on to the tank. This is an Empire uh, 3000 PSI tank. And it's not carbon fiber. It's not like that light carbon fiber type. It cost me like 50 bucks off Amazon.com. And it's worked wonders for me. I like that little meter right there that tells you how much you have left. Because the old tank that I used was a CO2 tank. And it didn't have that. And I'll have to guess at how much I have left. So I'll have to like constantly refill it just to be sure. But the tank, I don't put it on my marker. Like a lot of times, you'll see people running around with the paintball gun like that. You know, with the tank on it i don't do that that this would add like another four pounds to the tank or four pounds to the marker and i'll be ca carrying around the 10 pound gun which is not an issue for me but i don't want that tank there because it would definitely block a lot of the maneuvers that i could do so what i use if we go over here to my bag oh shit i don't want to knock down my laptop but if we go over here to my bag i'll whip out the remote line and i also forgot to show you guys the hopper that i use I use a regular gravity fed hopper. I don't use one of those like cyclone feeds or anything like that. Reason being is because it's not really needed. This is the hopper that I use and it's a, it holds 200 rounds and the pods that I use, which will go back over here. I had a pod somewhere. Ah, here it is. The pods that I use holds 140 rounds. So yeah, there are some discrepancies at some points where I have 140 rounds in the 200 round hopper. I don't really fit, fill it up all the way, but it doesn't really matter. But the remote line goes from this point goes into the gun there. And this part over here goes on the tank. And the tank goes on my vest. And my vest is over here. The vest is a uh, GXG. Uh, I believe that stands for Gen X Global. There you go. Uh, it's a GXG vest. And it is pretty good. Um, I bought a new one, a uh, BT. Uh, battle vest tactical battle vest and the reason why I bought a new one is because this one it was good but it's giving out too easily the material is kind of cheap you can see some tear and wear there especially when playing woods ball and you know going prone and constantly getting up and the weight of the of the tank on the back and uh, in the front pocket I hold like smoke grenades they sell smoke grenades at the paintball field and you can use them all you gotta do is just pull it pull the pin and keep your hands away from this end and this end because it gets hot and you might burn yourself but I hold smoke grenades I hold um, water in this patch and in this one I'll hold like maybe an extra pot or something like that or uh, Allen wrenches because it's always nice to carry a bunch of Allen wrenches with you uh, but you got pouch right here you got a place to put your lock I keep my lock there because they have lockers at the field tank holds up here pods four pods four pouches for the pods and we also have like a zip up thing over there but like I said I got a new vest on the way so I'm gonna definitely be doing a review of that one as well uh, so that way you guys can see that new vest and everything like that now as for the gloves that I use here are the gloves they are basically like paintball gloves open tip and this right here protects you in case you get hit in the hand which I have before I've gotten hit here here and yeah pretty much on my fingers as well like the open tip part right here like this part of my finger I've gotten shot there before by my own teammates but when you get hit here or you know anywhere on the protective part you won't feel it and it does work great and uh, the reason why I got open tip is because it's just it's better than you know using gloves that cover this part because it's always good to feel what you're trying to touch no homo but anyways <laughs> my boots that I use I got like a list of all the stuff right here so that way I don't miss any of them I went through my marker my tank my remote line my pods my vest my gloves uh, now on to the boots there we go the boots um, I use combat boots these are baits and they are side zip boots you see how they zip up on the side there and the reason why I use boots like this is because you're playing in the woods and a lot of the times what will happen is the days before they, they there would be like rain or something like that and if you guys also if you hear anything in the background like people yelling sorry my family is watching football 
and apparently they think that the football players on the field can hear them yelling at the TV. I don't, I don't get it at all, but, you know, people always tell me, like, oh, dude, you take video games too seriously. And then they go watch football and start yelling at the TV. So ironic, it's, it's ridiculous. But anyways, uh, a lot of times, like, with skirmish, they have very muddy areas. And this will definitely keep your feet dry, they'll keep your feet clean, and they'll keep your feet comfortable. And what I do is, with the pants that I wear, I wear BDU pants, I wear a BDU coat, and I also wear a shema around my neck because it keeps your neck warm and it also blocks the shots from the paintballs from hitting your neck. So it acts like a neck protector. Uh, and it also, it looks cool. But <laughs> the BDU coat keeps me warm as well. I wear thermals. You see it, I'm wearing it on my arm right now. Uh, that's like long johns underneath a thermal set. And the pants that I wear... I basically, I, I tie this around my ankles, which is what this is for, to tie it tight. And then I slip the pants inwards into the boots, so that way they're tucked into the boots. And that will keep my feet extra clean and extra dry, just in case I do step in a puddle that goes over the top. Because, of course, the laws of physics, if you step in a puddle, water displacement will end up making the water tip over and into your Feet. And you don't want that. You don't want to run around in the woods with wet feet because that would definitely suck ass. Next one, headgear. What do I wear on my head? Well, basically, I use a Hawkeye face mask. And this face mask is awesome. It's great, and it's made by RAP4. RAP stands for Real Action Paintball. And for, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to stand for. But I also use a helmet like this. This is a M88 PASGT helmet, non-ballistic, because I'm not having real bullets fired at me, so I don't need a ballistic helmet. But the reason why I bought this mainly is so that way I could place this uh, GoPro head mount on it and I can have some footage from the head because I don't like wearing this around my actual, like, you know, head because it just, it gives me a headache and it makes me feel weird. So I decided to use a helmet instead. And people always ask me, because of the fact that this doesn't have any vents, like on the top, you don't see like vents for that air to get through, does this make this fog up? And the answer is absolutely not. And I was completely surprised at that. And that was the most awesome part. And on top of that, it looks badass as shit. If you see a guy going to the paintball field with the goggles and the headgear like that, I don't know about you, but I'll be a little bit scared. <laughs> but uh, it looks awesome, it works well, and it doesn't fog up. And it is a bit uncomfortable at some points, but all you gotta do is just adjust the straps that go around your chin, and you'll be alright. But that's, uh, that's about it for my paintball gear. That's really all I use for paintballing. There's not much else uh, to show you guys. I don't think so. Uh, the bag that I use is just like a military bag. Uh, the M O L L system. I'm not sure if you pronounce that mole or Molly. I can't. <laughs> I can't remember. But uh, here's the hopper again. And this bag is pretty good for carrying all my paintball shit. And uh, I got the GoPro in the case right here and everything like that. So um, if you guys have any questions about my gear, just let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer all the questions you guys have. And oh, other things you might want to bring with you to uh to a paintball match would be a rag to be able to wipe your goggles water because you gotta stay hydrated otherwise you're just gonna pass the fuck out and of course snacks i like to bring snickers bam this thing will keep you hungry and will keep you filled or fueled during the paintball match especially like a scenario paintball game which lasts anywhere between like seven and eight hours sometimes you want to be able to stay uh not hungry because that's always a plus so that way, you know, you can limit the amount of times you go back for uh, food and everything like that to the picnic area. But when you run out of paint in a scenario game, you just go back to the picnic area, as I like to call the R&R &R area, uh, relax and recreation. And um, you rearm, refuel, and all that shit. So for those of you guys who have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to list everything that I have here in the description box, along with links for you guys to be able to purchase it yourself if you want to. And uh, that's about it. I think that's pretty much it. I covered everything. Uh, if I missed anything, I uh, will probably add it to the description box as well. And for the new paintball vest that I have that I ordered, the BT uh, Paintball Tactical Vest, I'm definitely going to do a video on that. 
um, after I use it for the first time, just to let you guys know how it is and everything like that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until uh, next time, peace.